Hey guys, it's Jenny here from the Boys and Girls Club of Greater San Diego here with another art video for you to do. Today's art activity is painting with cookie cutters. As you can see, I got my cookie cutters, I got my paint, and I got my paper. That's really all you will need for this activity, plus some pla plates to put your paint on. Of course, I got two plates with different colors just because I wanted to get into a bit more colors with my butterfly cookie cutter. The first step is to dip your cookie cutter into some paint. So I'm going to be choosing blue and purple. I'm mixing it in a bit just because I want the paint to get all over the bottom of the cookie cutter. And then I'm going to be placing it carefully on the paper. You're going to want to hold it firm so it really, really breaks it. And then slowly take it off. Because if you take it off too quick, it's going to smear a bit. But see? They're like stamps, as you can say. So you see the top is a little unnoticeable. I'm going to make sure to really paint that section. Or like cover it in paint. Again. Hold it firm. See, way better. Some cute little butterflies. But now I kind of want a different color. So I'm going to go in with yellow and black. Really going to try to smear it as best as I can. I forgot to get a napkin. But let's see, for this one, I want it over here so again carefully remove it from the paper if not it will kind of go over see it still kind of looks good it's a really easy activity to do and it puts in use your cookie cutters that you probably haven't used since maybe christmas so now we're going to go in with a star Again, smear it real good. If you want to, you could fill in the star or butterfly or whatever shape you have of a cookie cutter. Just so it's not just plain white. Maybe go back with the star and go in with a different color over it. Ta -da! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And that's pretty much it. It's painting with cookie cutters. You could also paint the background and then let it dry and then use the cookie cutters. It's just up to you. I have more cookie cutters I could have used like these lovely snowflake cookie cutters, but it just depends on what type of portrait you want to do. If you want to do a Christmas portrait, go ahead. Just pull out any cookie cutters you have and paint and just go at it. Get creative, you know? Hope you liked it and thank you for watching.